Hey friends, it is Jenna What Is Up and welcome back to the board game garden and welcome to another like vlog style video. I did one of these last week which I actually live streamed that so if you haven't gone and seen that, basically what I did is I went through our entire collection and I did a call of, I think I ended up calling about 22 to 20 something games but a few of them were already called from before so in that video, I think I called about 22 of them and it felt really good. Felt really, really good. Got a little bit of the games that I've just had in the collection for a while um, that we haven't gotten to the table in a while off of um, my chest, I guess, or off of just my, not my conscience, but just like knowing that they're there and not getting played stresses me out. So it was really nice to get some uh, games out of the collection and into other people's hands that are actually going to play them. So because I did that, I figured this week I would film reorganizing my collection, which is one of my favorite things to do. And it's been a while since I've did that, um, or I've done that. The last time that I did this, I organized my games by box size. So you guys can kind of see in some of these shelves that I did it by box size. I also did a little bit of it by like just this one here is just games that look nice. Um, some of them over there, like these are all my party games. These are all my solo and my roll and writes. So I kind of don't really have a good organization system right now. And I think I've decided that I'm going to be doing my games or organizing my games by color again, which is something I've done in the past. And I saw a video over on TikTok by Board Game Feels. I love his TikTok account. And I actually commented on his um, video where he was showing how he organized his games. And he actually knows who I am, so that's pretty fun. Um, so thank you for watching my content and thank you for inspiring me to organize my games again by color. So yes, I'm very excited. I've done this before. It's been a way that other people are like, why do you do that? That's like such a weird way to organize your games. But for some reason, the first thing that I think of when I think of a game is the box, what it looks like. Um, the look of a game is just like so important to me. So that's like the first thing that I think of. Um, some people do it by player count. Some people do it by mechanisms, different things like that. Um, box size obviously is what I did most recently. Um, publishers, designers, different things like that. But I think for me, the one thing that I automatically think of when I think of a game is the colors. So um, when I'm trying to look for a game in my collection, I'm gonna be able to be like, I wanna play Catan. We all know where that's gonna be in the red section. So um, that's kind of what I'm feeling uh, for this time around. I will probably change it up within a few months, but I also do wanna do a few different things. I actually really wanna get rid of this TV stand and replace it with another um, like Calyx. Um, I think I wanna do one of like the two by fours underneath my TV. Um, I don't know if I wanna do it in white or if I wanna do it in the like oak that I have over here. We will see, but I think it would be just a lot better for organizing games um, here. Only thing is that I do have a lot of like board game accessories in this cabinet here, so I don't know what I would do with those. Maybe I could just get some of like the drawers and the like doors for maybe like a few of the, the bottom calc shelves, we'll see. But yeah, this was a very long intro. I just wanted to kind of explain what's gonna be happening. I think the first thing that I want to do is I wanna just take all of the games off the shelves and put them into color piles. So we'll see how that ends up um, working. I don't know how much of this I'm going to be talking through. A lot of this might just be like B-roll sped up with some nice music over top. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I personally love watching people reorganize their collection. So hopefully this will be fun for you guys. It'll definitely be fun for me because I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, so yeah, let's get started with this little project. Um, if you guys enjoy, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button down below if you've yet to do so. We'd love to have you here in the garden. Um, I'm pretty sure we're getting pretty close to 21,000, which is very exciting. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that possibly we get to 25 thousand by the end of 2023 so let's see if we can do it invite your friends invite your pets invite your grandparents anybody invite them we'd love to have them here in the garden <laughs> Um, also comment down below. I would love to know question of the video is how do you organize your collection? Do you do it by color? Do you do it by player count publisher? Um, mechanism anything like that, let me know. But yes, without further ado, 
let's get into this video, shall we? So audio might be a little bit weird, but we will see. I like changed my mic to face me instead of facing away, but I've finished up the main calyx so far. I do still have like Dwellings of Eldervale and the Castles of Burgundy up at the top, but we have all of the different piles so far. So we have the white pile, the like red slash burgundy piles. We got some like oranges there. We got green as well as like some beige yellows and yellows and stuff like that. We have all of the blues as well as we got some purples and some like darker navy slash purples. We got blacks here and then we have browns here and then I have too many bones which shout out to freaking Devin from Devin Talks Tabletop. He sent over those to me. Um, we also have a few like smaller ones here. And then now I'm gonna get into all of these shelves. So I'm gonna put you guys back up on the tripod and start with these. Let's do it. So I am completely finished with putting everything into the color categories aside from like the smaller boxes. I haven't taken off a lot of these ones because they're all like pretty small, but all of like the basic, you know, I don't even know, ticket to ride size boxes are all over here. Some of them are like the more like rectangle shape, but they're all generally the same height, if that makes sense. So. I'm going to now start to try to make my background fade from one color to another color, like a whole rainbow, all the way from one side to the other. Uh, I think I'm going to try to do it like lighter and it gets darker as it goes down possibly of the colors if that makes sense, but I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how much of each color I have. I definitely think I have 
more of like the greens and the blues than I do reds and oranges and like some yellows, but we'll see how it works. Uh, I'm gonna try, I have a lot of blues, I will say that. Um, some of these are also going to have to go onto another shelf um, because I definitely don't have enough room on this shelf alone to do it all. So I'm gonna have to pick and choose what I wanna put on the shelves, what I don't, um, but I'm hoping that it ends up looking good. So let's start this off, shall we? finally finished the main calyx and it looks great. I really had to make sure like everything fit really nicely. That's the only thing about calyxes is that the cubes, like they're so hard to like try to figure out what board games can fit where and like each of the cubes have to be like exact. Um, so yeah, I had to fiddle with a few things, but this is how it ended up looking. The dogs have joined me. Hello, Walter. Hello, Penny. I still have a ton of other board games here. Got all the white board games, some like smaller board games, and we have all of the brown and the black as well. So I think what I'm gonna do is for the time being, I think I'm gonna put the like neutral board games at the bottom of these two shelves. And then I'm gonna do still color coordinated, but the upper ones I'll kind of do smaller boxes. Um, I think I want to, like I said, get a calyx to replace this and then I'll maybe do all of the black, brown, and white on that calyx. I think that would look really nice. So yeah, let's uh, get to all of these shelves. Shall we? Shall we dogs? How are you guys doing? You doing good? Oh my goodness, you're too freaking cute. I love you both so much. Thank you.
All right, friends, I am back from Ikea. I went for probably like an hour and a half. I like looked around a little bit and I picked up, like I said, a new calyx that I'm wanting to put here instead of this TV stand, which I think I'm just gonna sell it on Facebook Marketplace. And I ended up getting the same color as this one. It's like the, I don't even know what it's called. Something stained oak, white, white stained oak or something like that. Um, but I got this in a two by four um, and it's just going to kind of be used in between the two shelves here as a TV stand. So I really wanted to do that. Um, I also grabbed one of these. They're like little shelf inserts um, so that I can have two individual shelves for different things because this little cabinet here has a bunch of like board game accessories. We have um, like dice and component resource containers. Um, we have a few like dice trays, a dice tower, um, and a bunch of other things, some play mats, stuff like that. So I want to have a little um, two cabinet little area at the bottom of the calyx. So I actually got two of the like cabinet doors. Um, and I think I'm going to put those either on the two opposite sides or the two bottom middle ones. Um, I think that's what I've decided. Um, so yeah, and I also got, there's like this new little like thing that you put on the bottom of the calyx to make it look like it has legs or like it does have legs. It's not meant to look like it has legs. Um, I actually am tempted to get one for this too, um, just so it's not like sitting on the floor and I feel like it's a little bit more like it looks like a piece of furniture when it has the legs. So I think I'm going to possibly get one of those for this as well. Um, I think they're only like 20 or 30 bucks. So grab that. That's what this is here. And I have my calyx. So I think I'm going to quickly build the calyx and then see what else I can do. Um, we are going to have to take all the board games off of that and take all the stuff out of the two cabinets. And then I might have to continue this in the morning. I originally wanted to get this video up for you guys on Saturday, um, but tomorrow. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. So I think this might either go up on a Sunday or it could possibly go up on Monday. But I don't want to like rush this. I want to do this fun thing. I didn't actually think that I was going to go to Ikea tonight, um, but I might as well do it all now instead of kind of making do until I have a chance to go to Ikea and then do that. I was like, why don't I just go to Ikea now and actually do it right and, you know, get my new little calyx for our TV stand. So I'm very excited. We will see. I'm actually a little bit concerned that the calyx is slightly longer than this TV stand. So I might have to move this over a bit, which is fine because there's like a solid this much between the bookcase and the wall. So I think we're fine even if it's slightly bigger. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping and I'm going to get to making this calyx, which at this point I am a professional at making calyxes. Even though like this is my first board game calyx, I had a bunch of calyxes before for like my business and stuff. So, okay, let's do this. Why hello friends and welcome back to the second day of this video. I initially wanted to get it all done yesterday, but then I was working on this, which I actually did put the legs on. I didn't realize how like not on these are when they're, I guess like, cause you're just sitting the calyx on top of it, but it's like, it's not attached. You just sit it on top. Um, that's pretty much it. I guess you could go in 
with some screws here, but I don't think I'm going to. We'll see what happens, um, but um, yes. Anyways, my camera battery died yesterday, so I just decided to call it a night. I think it was like 1.30 anyways, so decided to call it a night, and we are starting back up now. Um, basically what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get all of the small board games into one area, the um, white, brown, and black boxed board games into one area. I need to take all of these board games off this shelf, put them into another pile with all of like the smaller box board games. Some of them are like medium, some of them are small. Um, I also need to take all the stuff out of this cabinet. All of my roll and writes and solo games need to come out of there. I need to get the TV off of this. We need to move this somewhere else so that I can put it onto Facebook Marketplace. And then we are going to put this in that spot. So hopefully that all works out. Hopefully I can do it. Um, I think I have like three hours until my board game night with my friends Tyler and Aiden. So yes, cheers, coffee, let's get to it.
friends. So as you can see, I still have a lot more board games to put on the shelf, but I think I'm gonna do that quickly off of camera because it's going to take way too long. I also need to go to a board game night in like a half an hour. So I'm gonna try to quickly do this and then I'm gonna film some after shots. I'll move the table back, different things like that. Amazon package, or it could be another board game. But anyways, like I said, or like I was saying, I'm going to bring back the board game table, finish it all up, and then I will show you guys a little bit of ending B-roll of the finished board game room. So let's get into that, shall we? 